I've been working on a course, a Udemy course, for parental alienation. So some of this stuff is on my mind. It's fresh on my mind, so I'm going to make a couple of videos about it. Hopefully you will stay tuned. Make sure you, you know, subscribe and follow me. And uh, I will put up a video as soon as my Udemy course on parental alienation is, is up and live and accessible to take. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how I, as a clinician, often will... Uh, what what keys me into likely uh, parental alienation happening, and that usually is when you know, it, it has to do with the kid or children. Um, now kids get caught in the middle, right? And when I talk about the stuff, right, I talk about on the one hand you have a high conflict parent, often has a personality disorder, narcissism, borderline, antisocial. And then the other parent, which I call the apologetic parent, because they, they have generally fallen into a state of worry, fear, anxiety, and uh, ooh, uh, they just uh, and they are apologetic. They apologize, and so the uh, the thing that I that usually tunes me in or dials me in is uh, when I look at the kids. Uh, and this is this is generally my number one indicator when the kids are having behavior problems and coupled that with uh, really really strong loyalty towards one parent and usually that one parent is the high conflict parent they won't betray them uh, they're they're infinitely loyal to that parent infinitely loyal uh, almost to the point where it's just bizarre it's almost weird like this parent like the high conflict one parent is uh the hero oh they're just the best they never do anything wrong they're the greatest and the most wonderful and the most amazing and they never do anything wrong and they're oh I, oh i just love this parent and the other parent is the monster they, they can never do anything right and they're controlling and i hear it all the time i, I see this all the time Generally speaking, I see this behavior with 13 to 14 year olds. 13 to 14 year olds are generally really afraid of the high conflict parent. And so give this undying loyalty to the high conflict parent. But that's not always the, the case. Uh, I've seen kids older, 16, even 17 years old, where it's like this strong devotion to the high conflict parent. But again, when I see a kid that has behavior issues, it could be anything from struggling to manage emotions, failing out of school, failure to socialize, failure to make friends, not thriving, uh, maybe they're acting out, maybe they're cutting, uh, you know, self-harm, drugs, and those types of things, and then super loyal to one parent. To me, that's just, uh, just been the, the pattern. That's just been my uh, general experience that that's the pattern. That we... Uh, that that those kids are are usually loyal to the high conflict parent because of one reason they're afraid of them, and they've just found ways to act out that that probably produce a little less heat. Uh, it becomes a control issue, so they start to try and they try to figure out what they can control, and 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 it have not be an issue. For example, uh, eating and food. Uh, I've seen kids uh, if, if a kid has you show me a kid with with a eating problem, super picky about food, textures, the dishes they eat off of, that type of stuff. It's likely they have a controlling parent. Uh, they uh, OCD can be an indicator of a controlling parent or a high conflict parent. So I get a lot of these apologetic parents to say, you know, my 13 year old just hates my guts, and insanely loyal to that other parent, and and it's like, well. Uh, that's usually because they're afraid of that parent and they're not afraid of you. You're the safe parent. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to turn on them. So in a way, if you if you have a high conflict ex and the kid is really aggressive towards you, in a way it's almost like a compliment because you're the safe one. You're the one that they know isn't going to be punitive or, or, or come down super duper hard on them. And so to me, this is often like the, probably the number one indicator of parental alienation. Uh, that I see it's it's just really bizarre uh, we don't I've never seen it in any any other situation 
where the kid is like, one parent is just incredible and amazing and I love them and they're the best and, and oh, they can never do anything wrong and the other parent is 100% the problem and they, and they never do anything right and I just can't stand them and I don't want to ever be around them at all. And to me, that's usually parental alienation. Uh, most of the time, it doesn't surprise me whatsoever when I find out that the kid, that the parent that the kid is super loyal to has been bad-mouthing the other parent big time. Uh, and setting them up, gaslighting them. So one of the things is gaslighting. You have to be really, really uh, conscientious, mindful of, of gaslighting. And so uh, if you don't know what gaslighting is, I've got, I've got a video on that. So be sure to go check out my gaslighting video. Um, so there you have it. There is basically my number one indicator that uh, parental alienation is happening. Um, uh, just as a little bit of a bonus here, um, I've seen kids where they have really troubling behaviors and it turns out they have a narcissistic type parent. Uh, and some of those indicators to me are um, just failure to thrive, not functioning in school, uh, identity disturbance, crippling, crippling anxiety, uh, panic attacks. Uh, you know, one kid that I worked with just like would go to school and stay in the bathroom all day. Turns out the parent uh, had, a, had a narcissistic parent, not surprisingly. So anyways, uh, that's going to do it for that. If you would like to ask me a question or if there's if there's something that you think would be a good video, you can email me. The uh, My email address should be in the, uh, the description below. So thank you for watching once again. Um, Make sure you subscribe and I will put up a video when my parental alienation course is up. Take care.